Welcome back everybody to the Zuma Raffle Bike. This is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity and today's problem we're going to tackle is this gas can. Now there isn't any holes in this gas can but at the same time this tank isn't exactly the most wonderful tank. Uh, there is rust inside. Um, it costs like $90 for a new tank so I'm just going to go ahead and try a sealing product. But first Let's run that intro. All right, so this product that we're gonna get try is Pour 15 Fuel Tank Sealer. Uh, I've seen a couple of YouTube videos on this and uh, it, it, it's pretty good from what I've seen. Uh, you kind of pour it around and kind of goop it around blah, blah, and let it go around the tank and it says in here uh, that it needs to be a dry tank uh, vapors are harmful they may affect vapors are harmful they may affect brain and nervous system um, it's a one okay so I have to pour the entire contents inside the tank must be completely dry inside. Stir well, then pour entire contents of sealer into tank. Cover the fill hole, then slowly rotate the tank to cover all surfaces. Then drain for at least 30 minutes and allow for 96 Surprise! hours of driving. Uh, driving, drying. So let's go ahead and get this uh, tank emptied out, cleaned out, and then we'll dry it off. And then we'll put this in roll it around and of course it says here it takes 96 hours of dry drying that's a lot i don't think i have to use this whole thing either this is the bigger of the this is one pint and it's a tiny tank so we'll see all right let's go ahead and get it give it a shot okay we're going to take the pet cough pet cock off the bottom and the fuel tank gauge sensor and then we're going to go rinse it out really good with some high pressure water and then after that we'll go ahead and use the uh, leaf blower to try to dry it out as best we can. Here we go. So if you look down on the ground, you can see where there's water in the fuel. So, yeah, that's probably the reason why it wasn't starting in the first place. So let's go ahead and wash this out and dry it out. Uh, but check this out. Here's the fuel tank. Here's the fuel tank gauge sensor. Yeah, I mean, it functions and it works, but I'm gonna need to scrub this down before I put it in there. So, yeah, this zoom is gonna take a lot more work than I thought it was gonna be to get it restored. So, let's watch this out. Yeah, but this isn't safe because it's a gas tank. Yeah, 
Uh, when did it catch on fire and blow up? Well, I've watched it in the water, so it should be huge. Open this up. Do I have something I can stir this with a little bit? <laughs> This is what I want you to do. I want you to spin it around all over the inside of the tank. Okay, let's read some instructions. Yeah, so this is what we do. Okay, so I got the uh, the sealer in there and it's that silver metallic stuff I drained it out and it looks like it's drying on the edges uh, chemically stuck to the side so that it uh, it seals the tank um, I'm probably gonna sand the tank and paint it a little bit before I actually put it back on but it looks like the uh, the actual spray gun shooting it inside of there got most of the debris out I didn't also realize, I also realized that there was water in there too when I poured that out. So that's probably one of the reasons why it wasn't starting because I was getting water in the carb. So uh, I'll give you an update on the tank. We'll work on the carburetor and then we'll also work on uh, putting the big bore kit on in a future episode. So thank you for watching and my assistant Aiden. He was my cameraman today and some of the shots, so if it looked like it was drifting a little bit, he was getting very interested in what I was showing or what I was doing. Anyways, thank you for watching and what? See you next time. <laughs>